these training nights are imperative that we all get on the same page, we sharpen our edge, uh, test our fitness, test our stamina, test our uh, working together as a crew, they're yeah, really vital. I've always wanted to be of some use. Uh, I've, I've been very blessed with having uh, uh, safety around me. Uh, and I, and you know, I'm a father, I'm a husband. Uh, I think if I can help out another family that is in probably the worst state they've ever been in, or a business owner who's about to lose everything, uh, if I can be of some use, that's, that's, why I, that's my why, that's why I do it. Despite the fact that we train really hard for structure fires and, and, uh, and fires, they actually make up a really small percentage of our work. So it can be anything. Um, medical assists, we now do medicals with St John's, so code purples, uh, in other words, CPR assists, respiratory distress, that sort of thing. Right through to uh, vegetation fires, uh, obviously has hazardous material fires, structure fires, uh, car accidents make up a big amount of our work. It's a really varied role, could be anything and everything. Okay, so let's know. So we know there's at least one person missing, all right? Um, possibly more. Building's well going for it, so you take, this, take your low end. Um, if you come across a fire, yeah, hit it, but uh, why don't you do a primary search, all right? Cool, yeah. clear. So they make an entry and they'll follow, so they're coming in doing a search and so they're looking around so they can see so they don't have to kind of touch necessarily so many things because it's not pitch back and then they're staying low because smoke obviously is right up there and then they're going in so they knew that the original person had gone as far as here so now they'll start searching in all the rooms. And of course, number two has to bring the hose with him. We're there to help people in time of need, whether it's um, flooding, civil emergency, fires, uh, motor vehicle accidents. Just really anything that we can do to help the community. Um, <laughs> also help fundraising when we need to and um, do a lot of charities in the sense of like climbing Sky Tower for leukemia blood cancer. Um, I guess the training nights it's about us as firefighters uh, putting into practice the stuff we've learnt. Um, it's a time for us to, to sharpen up on, on what we've learnt and just um, yeah get to know the guys that are around us so that we can trust one another when we're in um, the situations that we get into. We help the community in many ways. We respond to all sorts of one one calls, whether it be fires, flooding, um, medicals, and we are a really good close-knit family unit. We train together once a week doing scenarios like this, and um, we have a lot of fun but doing a good thing for the community, yeah. Anything from sitting in a classroom and watching a presentation to being out here where we've got a really awesome use of a empty building at the moment. So we have been training at search and rescue and real life scenarios of if we have to go and find someone in a building. Um, other times we might just um, do basic drills of running out hoses and putting on the breathing apparatus. I decided that I wanted to give back to the community. Um, my father was in Coast Guard and I sort of wanted to take a different path. Um, and I sort of I worked two doors down from the fire station and sort of saw the trucks going out all the time and thought that might be a cool thing to do. And I've been in the um, fire service for five years now. It's sort of hard to explain. It's, it gives you a sense of accomplishment and just knowing that you're there to help someone in their time of need and um, even for children to be able to sort of look at, you know, the trucks going past and seeing the smiles in their faces. I think I've liked fire trucks since I was a little boy and I never grew out of it. Um, I grew up in Auckland. Uh, in the days where the Southern Motorway never had medium barriers, so I saw a lot of horrible stuff driving around when I was a kid. Uh, and I always saw the firemen as the guys that sorted it out. They were always there to make things better. And I thought to be part of an organisation that arrives and makes things better, uh, that's, that's me. I think in today's busy age, availability of people's under huge threat. Uh, it's certainly the biggest threat that we have. Uh, we've got no people that are really committed and want to join or want to be part of it, but they just simply don't have time. So the more people that can contribute, the lighter the load. Um, Fens is built on volunteers. You know, we're predominantly run by volunteers operationally. So the more we have, uh, it's you know better for the longevity of the brigade that we've got people to 
pass on as other people retire or leave or become less available. So people come and go over the years and um, the Mount being a mixed station is just, um, yeah, we just need more volunteers. We need always need more people to get out the truck, new people to train, people with different experience, that everyone brings something different. Great things about a volunteer unit is it brings together all number of skills. So you could be sitting beside a plumber, someone else who's a receptionist, a full-time mum, a full-time dad, all sorts of people. So what we're looking for from a volunteer is a cross-section of the community of which they serve. That's, the, that's what we're really we're looking for. So if a community is made up of um, um, a lot of busy people that own, run businesses, inevitably you're going to get a lot of business owners and they're going to have a value for saving people's businesses and um, you know, their contribution can be great. So it can be everyone and anyone. As long as you've got a good level of fitness, you don't have to be Superman, we're not looking for the SAS. Um, but a good all-round level of fitness, general strength, um, yeah, we'll sort the rest out once you're on the truck. Walk through the door, break that big scary ice bit and walk through the door. Um, contact us online, you can do that. Um, or ring the fire station, find out when we train, come down. Find out what we're all about, find out if this is for you. Um, from there, we'll take it from there. It's a simple online application form, we measure you up, um, we'll supply all the PPE and you'll attend training nights just like this.